Hello everyone and welcome. You know, I have a lot of saws and tools for working with wood, but I've been rather lacking in quality tools for metalworking. Recently, I decided to up my game and get some better tools to improve my metalworking capabilities. So I decided to start off by getting myself a metal chop saw, but not just any chop saw. This is the first mitering chop saw that I've ever seen. So if you're interested in a quality metal chop saw with mitering capabilities, stick around because in this video, we'll be unboxing and testing this metal chop saw from Evolution. So let me open this guy up, take all the components out, then we'll lay them out and see everything that comes included in this kit. Alright guys, let's take a look at my brand new Evolution Miter Metal Chop Saw that I just got. You saw that I pulled it out of the box, and before we start assembling it, I thought I'd show you exactly everything that comes in the box and how you get it. As they say in the industry, some assembly required. And those are all the bits and bobs, all the bits and pieces that come with it. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's fairly self-explanatory. I haven't even read the instructions yet, and there you go. There's the manual right there comes with everything, tells you exactly how to put it together, I'm pretty sure, I haven't even opened it yet. But these are all the components that come with it, and since I already saw a picture of it, I have an idea how this guy goes together. Now I will say that the heaviest part of the saw is the motor head right here. This is a beefy boy, but thank goodness it has a handle right here that makes it easy to pick it up. But this little guy right there must weigh anywhere from 25 to 30 pounds, the motor head by itself. So be prepared, when you go to unbox it, you're going to need to lug that guy up because it's heavy. The rest of the stuff is solid, but not extremely heavy. The base is not too bad. This guy right here, this is a solid piece of steel. As you're going to see, that's uh, the, one of the racks for the hold downs. These are the hold downs, and they're all very, very solid. Nothing in here is very plasticky or wimpy feeling. Everything feels very, very solid. Mostly metal, just uh, maybe a couple of uh, plastic components like the handle right there. This feels like metal too. Pretty much only the handle seems to be plastic. Everything else seems to be some variety of metals. So it seems pretty solid to me. Now I'm going to be putting this together for you guys in just a moment so we can all see how it goes together. But it is a fairly good unit so far and it is a brush motor and you can see right there it's easy to replace the brushes. Just turn that screw, they pop right out, and you should be able to replace it if you have any trouble down the road. Let me give you a shot of the motor there. Oh, it's upside down. Let me move over here. That way you can see exactly what we're looking at with this saw right there. That's the motor head specs right there. So there you go. And it does come with a blade included, and that's pretty nice. That's a big beefy blade right there. And on the back of it, it tells you, it has a chart, and it tells you all the different blades they sell and what they're compatible with. So you can go through that, and you can look it on their website too. But you can look through that, and that'll tell you pretty much everything you can cut with the different blades that they have available. So let's start putting this guy together, and I'll tell you all the different specs about this saw so you know exactly what you're looking at. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about some of the features of this guy. But before we get started putting it together, let me just remind you to hit that subscribe button. Do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, help the channel grow. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video, a DIY video, or a great sale video where I find you great products at great prices at the big box stores. You help the channel grow, you help yourself stay informed, it helps everybody all around. And also be sure to leave your comments down below after you watch the video, tell me what you think about this product and if you think it's something you'd like to see more videos that are similar to this. So let's get started with this guy. Alright guys, so let's start putting this little guy together. So this is the S355 MCS Mitery Metal Chop Saw from Evolutions, available on their website, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit sells for $8.49 and that includes free shipping. Plus, I did find a 5% discount coupon, which I have included down below, so you can save more money by using that coupon. Anyway, so what do you get in the kit? Well, I already showed you everything that you get. You get the saw, the blade, all the stops, the base, all that kind of good stuff. And this guy comes with a three-year warranty. The dimensions on this guy are 28 inches in length by 26 inches in width and 27 inches in height. 
and this unit weighs 77 pounds when fully assembled. It does come with a 14 inch mild steel cutting blade as you saw, and it has 66 teeth, 1 inch bore, and .094 kerf. This guy is powered by a powerful 15 amp motor, and it has a no load speed of 1450 RPMs. The electrical cord on this unit is 10 feet long, so it is rather long, and it has an adjustable head of three different positions. This is not like a sliding miter saw for wood. This only allows you to move the head so you can adjust your cutting for better cutting of the different size metals, but you can't slide it back and forth like you do with wood. It doesn't work that way with metal, and I'll show you better in a little bit. The mitering on this guy is up to 46 degrees for both left and right direction, and it has dual cast iron sliding hold down clamps plus a top clamp as I'm showing you. This guy can cut up to one half inch thickness of steel plate and square tubing up to four and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches, rectangle tubing up to six and a half inches by four inches, and round tubing up to four and three quarter inches, so it can cut some really large pieces of metal. So this S355MCS mitering chop saw from Evolution has to be the best metal chop saw that I've seen on the market for straight cuts and angle cuts. No longer do you have to fumble around trying to get weird angles to cut with your regular chop saw. This miter chop saw can handle any type of angle up to 45 degrees in both directions, right or left. This allows you to get precise cuts to just about any angle you want from 90 all the way to 45 in either direction. Plus it has a powerful motor and a huge blade allowing you to tackle just about any size material that you want to use for your metalworking projects. So let's take a little closer look at this guy now that it's all put together and do some cutting. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at my new Evolutions mitering chop saw now that it's all put together. And I can show you in more detail some of the stuff that I was showing you previously because I was just putting it together. So you probably couldn't see it all very well. Let's start off by talking about the sliding function back here. This is a slider, but it is not like a wood miter saw. You don't slide that back and forth as you're cutting. In other words, you don't put the blade down and slide it back. Doesn't work that way. This has three positive stops to it. This is how you tighten it. This is how you release it. And you slide it back and forth so you can get a better cut with whatever material you have in the base right there. It comes with a diagram explaining basically how the hole in the center, let's say the center of the blade, let's call it that way. You basically align it with whatever it is that you're cutting that way you could get a better cut and for safety reasons better cutting all that kind of good stuff so you see right there it explains exactly how you're supposed to set it up so that you get the best cut with the different materials and shapes and so forth that you're cutting so read through that diagram first before you start using it and i'm sure there's a learning curve you'll probably figure out exactly how it works as you go along but it does include that so you understand exactly how it all works and this guy has a lot of hold downs, making it very, very safe. And I showed you some of that as I was putting it together. You have your top hold down right here, which on this side has three places that you can put it in. You can move it around easily from one to the other. And it has one spot on the other side over here that you can put it in right there. So you have four different spots to choose from. These guys are really nice because they slide back and forth. You can slide them anywhere you want, independent of each other, based upon whatever it is that you want to grab on. And it does have a quick function where you can just slide it in very easily. And then if you want to slide it out, move that, slide it in and out, whatever you want to do. You want to start screwing it down, then you put that there and it'll hold it in place for you and you screw it in and out, whatever it is that you want to do. There is your mitering function right there. You have to hold that button down, has the button you hold down, and then you move it and you slip it back and forth however you want to do it. There you see my table is moving, but you see right there exactly how you move it from side to side. These guys also, they all have, let me show you this guy. They all have some nice knurling on there to give you a good positive stop of whatever it is that you're holding down. But they also do come with these add-ons that you can basically slide onto there. They just slide right on, slide on and off, 
And these are nice shaped metal bits right here that will help you with whatever it is. If you have some kind of round tubing or weird angle or something like that, these will help you hold it down much, much better. So these are very convenient as far as that goes. You slide them on, slide them off, whatever you want to do. And it has these nice little pop-up bearings right here that help it to slide on and off. And the knurling is very good. That'll hold anything in place very nicely. These guys, like I said, they're cast iron. They're very beefy, very strong. And this is a big chunk of steel right here. So it is very solid. And you also have these dogs right here into the table where you can have all sorts of adjustments if you want to put something on here to hold it down more securely if you have a weird piece of metal that you're trying to cut and it has it on both sides as well so you can adjust it to whatever you want based on that kind of thing right there so it gives you a lot of flexibility to whatever you want to do and as you can see right there it has positive stops for the most commonly used positions for the most commonly used angles and it'll stop exactly where it is. And let me move this aside over here. Hold on, my table's moving. All right, now I can show you better. My table was shifting on me. So there you can see all the angles are nicely placed on there and they're etched into the metal and back painted. So they're not just painted on the surface. They're actually etched into the metal. I can feel it with my fingernail. So they won't be fading away or disappearing or wearing off anytime soon. They're very nicely put in there. So you should have them for many years to come. And there's your indicator right there for where it is on the uh, different angles that you choose. So there you go. So basically, let's uh, get this guy set up and start doing some cutting. And I have some metal right there, some round tube and some square tube right there. And we're going to set this guy up and start doing some cutting. All right, guys. So I decided to take the show outside because metal is a very messy thing to cut. And you get a lot of hot pieces of metal getting all over the place. I didn't want to make a huge mess inside my garage. And I didn't want to get some hot molten metal on the paint job on my car. That would have been a real disaster. So we're going to go through and we're going to cut a lot of different pieces of metal. We're going to make a few cuts in this one. And then we're going to go to a circular tubular piece of metal that we're going to be cutting and we're going to take advantage of a lot of the miter saw functions that this guy has now in this one as you saw that's two pieces of metal one inside the other because this is supposed to be an adjustable piece of metal it's like a part of a bed frame or something like that and it's supposed to slide back and forth and as you see i have them both together at the end there so it's cutting through both pieces at the same time and it seems to be doing no trouble whatsoever, cut through it just fine. We're making a 90 degree cut, a straight cut right now, a very simple cut. You can see both metals right there, both pieces sliding one inside the other, and it cut through them without any trouble whatsoever. And obviously a little piece of metal didn't come very, very clean there at the end, but that's no big deal. I mean, when you're cutting metal, you don't always get an absolute clean cut. So there you go, I cut off the end of it right there. Now let's just cut off a little sliver right here at the end and see how it performs on this one. And this is, like I said, a fairly large piece of metal. You're talking like two and a half inches, something like that, maybe a little more in each direction. That's about the biggest one that I have at this time. But this guy can cut way, way bigger than this. As you can see by the size of the blade, it's not very much at all. And one thing that I like about this saw that I see it as I'm doing the cutting and so forth is that I like this little baffle that it has at the back there. You see there I'm showing you it did a nice clean cut and you see the little curly cues that it has at the end there that make it a little bit thicker. But anyway, I like that baffle that it has at the back there because it catches all the sparks and debris and stuff like that that's flying around and it kind of makes it settle down right there and it has an opening at the bottom so it pretty much drops it all into the bottom there. So I mean, I guess you could adapt it to have maybe like a shop back or something like that. It doesn't have a round hole, it's square, but I guess you could always connect a shop back if you have this in a stationary location and have it suck up a lot of the metal as it goes flying. Now here what I did was I moved it over to the 45 degree angle and we're cutting through the same piece of metal at 45 degrees to see exactly how it can cut. And that's the beauty of a miter saw. You can just cut it to any angle that you want without having to worry about the metal. The metal just, you put it in one position and you're good to go and the saw moves to any angle that you want. And there you go, 45 degree cut, very nice, very clean, no problem whatsoever. It cut through it like a hot knife through butter. 
And that's the reason that I decided to go with the Evolution. It's because I've seen a lot of other channels review the Evolution, and they're all very happy with it. They haven't reviewed this one. They reviewed their other chop saws, which are pretty much straight cutting chop saws, and they all did a very good job. Everybody seems very, very happy with them. So I said, what the heck? I'll give it a chance and see if it's a good enough saw. I may as well go with a good one because I'm not going to buy two or three of these guys. I'm not going to have a bunch of these in my shop. So I figure if I get one, may as well get a good one. And right here, what I did was I changed over to a 30 degree angle. So we already saw 90, we saw 45. Now we're cutting a 30 degree angle, which is some of the most common angles people are going to be cutting. So there you go, you can see 30 and 45 in the same piece that I cut right there. And it did a cut just fine, no problem at all. Very nice clean cut right there. So it did a good job. Now let me move this guy around and let's transition over to cutting some round pipe. And this is a good piece of metal right here. It was part of like a swing set or something like that that somebody threw away and I just picked it up because I keep scrap metal around for all sorts of random projects just like this. So we're gonna do some cutting at different angles. Let's start off with a straight cut. And you see this is kind of like an unruly piece of metal right there. It has weird angles and stuff like that. And you have to kind of try to work with it to get in the position where you can cut it. But that's a good thing about this saw. It brings a lot of hold downs. And you're gonna see right now, I'm gonna add these guys that I showed you previously. These guys are for holding down round or weird angle metal. Like, uh, you know, if you have to twist uh, a square and you have to put it at another angle, so it's like a triangle or something like that, these guys will help you with that. They help with round pipes like this, very convenient. And there's one for each of the hold downs and you can adjust it to whatever works conveniently for you. And these hold downs, as you see, right now, I'm gonna use them in this position because the pipe has a weird angle, so I have to work with it. But in a little while, you're gonna see that I'm gonna adjust these guys to go down a little further because that black metal rod that goes in the front there, you can adjust that to go up and down as needed for whatever it is that you're holding down. It is adjustable, it also moves up and down. So these hold downs move side to side and the rod in the middle goes up and down. So you can pretty much secure just about any kind of piece of metal that you wanna work with, which is very, very convenient. A lot of saws don't give you that flexibility. So that's one of the great features about this saw. It is an expensive saw. I'm not gonna say it's cheap. This is not a Harbor Freight competitor. You're not gonna compare this to anything at Harbor Freight. This is miles way and above anything at Harbor Freight, but it's gonna cost you a little bit more because you're getting a much more quality saw. I know a lot of my viewers like to shop at Harbor Freight, but forget it. This is not a Harbor Freight product. This is a much better product. You're gonna really love something like this. This guy is really, really easy. It makes it so much easier to work with anything that you're working with. So there you go. I cut that pipe right there. No problem at all. Nice, clean, straight cut, like a hot knife through the butter. This blade really cuts through everything very, very easily. So now let me move that pipe around and put it at a different angle. And you're gonna see exactly what I said a moment ago about adjusting these different guys to uh, different positions. So it'll be a lot easier to cut this pipe. And then I'm gonna move it inward. So again, it's a weird angle. Once you get a weird thing like this, you gotta figure out a way to settle it on there. But you know what? That rod there in the middle makes a great little stand. I put the pipe on there and it holds it up for me. So I don't have to worry about it falling down or any of that kind of stuff. That black metal rod came in very conveniently as a hold down. There you see, I moved it down so it fits better and it holds this guy better against the cutting table. And then move that guy around, there you go, it's a different angle. And there you can adjust it better to uh, hold down any kind of pipe or any kind of weird design piece of metal that you have. So that makes it very, very easy to work with. And you can adjust these guys up and down as you need, as you see that I'm doing right there. So let's cut through this guy and let's do this guy a little bit different. Let's see, let's uh, do a different angle for this guy. And let's move the angle on this guy. Let's see, let's do it a little different. I'm gonna move it over to uh, 45. It's a little hard to move it with all these different things in the way. And the base is a little stiff from lack of use. It's brand new. I guess maybe a little lubrication might help it move a little bit more smoothly, but it's a little bit uh, stiff and awkward to move right now because it's just brand new. But uh, we're going to cut this pipe at a 45 degree angle right now and see how that performs. 
But like I said, cutting pipe is something that you do very, very often, very commonly, if you're working with metal and cutting piping and stuff like that for all sorts of different things. No matter what it is that you want to build, round things tend to pop up all the time. So there you go, 45 degree angle, no problem whatsoever. Cut it very, very easily, no problem cutting that at all. There you go, nice 45 degree angle. Now, how about working with a really small piece of pipe? So far, we've been working with a lot of big pieces. How about if you have a small piece? That's one of the convenient things about this guy that it has two hold downs. Well, really three, if you count the back one. Has three different hold downs. So even a small piece of metal, whether it's a pipe or a straight metal, you can adjust it as I'm moving it closer to the front there. You can put them all very, very close to the blade and you can cut very easily even a very small piece of metal. And that makes it very convenient, very safe, because you should always keep your hands away from this region. You should never put your hands anywhere near that because you definitely don't want to get hurt. So having these three different hold downs makes it very easy to hold down even small pieces that you're cutting. So there you go, guys. This seems to be a really fantastic saw. I really like this saw. It has a lot of great features, as you saw throughout this video. I think I'm going to be very happy with this guy for doing all sorts of projects in the future, all sorts of metal projects and so forth. I think this is a great saw. Check out the link below. Check out the Evolutions website. I think you'll be very happy with this saw. Get more information on it. Compare it to other saws, and I think you'll be very happy with this unit. It's not cheap, but it's well worth the money by what I can see so far. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.